So the command word in this question is describe. So it's looking for a, us to identify the key features of the process of dip coating a metal product. It's, it's worth highlighting here that there is, I've seen this question misanswered, uh, incorrectly answered a few times when people get confused with galvanizing because that is heating up um, or putting a product, a metal product into heated up zinc. So there's a there's a, a dipping process going on, but that's not what this is talking about. Dip coating, um, as we know it, is about covering it in a plastic or polymer coating. Uh, so let's go through the stages of that. Um, first of all, we need we know that air is blown through a very fine thermopolymer powder, which becomes like a liquid or fluidized. We'll talk about that later. So there are two marks there talking about blowing air in and the um, the feature that the powder becomes like a liquid. That's important. The next step is to heat up a metal product and dip that into the fluidized powder. So there's two marks in there as well. So we're well on our way to getting the five marks. Uh, the final stage is the thermopolymer melts and sticks to the metal in a thick, even coat. Um, not totally necessary to talk about that thick, even coat, but it is useful to know that that's a feature of dip coating. It's, it's why we do it. Um, it stops it stops the material, the metal from corroding and provides a little bit of protection, insulation, heat and electrical insulation. There's all sorts of reasons why we dip coat, um, but we don't need to go into those too much to too much detail. So we've got our five marks, but it is worth noting that you can also um, bake that product and the coating um, to help the polymer um, find get into all the little nooks and crannies that it needs to before cooling.